Martin, a frustrating game today. Yeah, definitely. I think the you know the first half we had quite a lot of chances and we scored um, you know kind of a freak goal a little bit, um, but we then had even a couple more good chances after that. And so in that first half we were in a good position. And I think as we were gaining the ascendancy, maybe looking to get that second goal, we we lost concentration at the back. I think Aaron Taylor Sinclair going off made we we, we had to make some changes and it and it impacted us pretty. Uh, well, that really was the, the turning moment of the game, was the last kind of five minutes of the half. Um, really disappointed with how we defended those situations and that, that really turned the game. You know, I think at that point we were in a good position. Second half, um, we didn't create enough, that was disappointing, but at the same time, there weren't really a lot of chances probably for either team in the second half. It was that five minute spell just, after, uh, just before half time that was really pivotal in the game. I mean, uh, in terms of the, the team itself, obviously changes again uh, for us, a, a new back five, so to speak. Yeah. So talk us through that. Yeah, so I think what, that's one of the things we were just talking about with the players is we have made, obviously, a few signings in the last last few weeks. And so it's difficult as a manager, like, what do you do? Do you put them into the team and try and get them fit and get them ready? Or do you, you know, do you wait and, and so on? Well, then there's not really much point in signing players if we're not going to get them into the team. So we know that it's a little bit of a, a risk over those first few games when you make those changes and give players a chance. Obviously, we were missing a couple of players today as well but we do need to get a settled team and um, we do need to to get on get on a run um, difficult place to come difficult conditions today but we need, do need to do better and I think now we need to you know hopefully get a little bit of continuity with the lineup stick with it get people on the same page and, and we've seen good things in the last few weeks we've seen things that need to improve and um, but we've also had you know a couple couple things now where we've um, where we've made adjustments where probably we need to get it settled now Probably one of the things in the second half that we frustrates Falkirk fans a little bit was lack of chances from the from the forwards. Obviously, last week with uh, with Anton Dowds and also with uh, Kibaya as well having chances, but sec especially second half here, uh, you just show that, that Sean Dillon he, he knows he knows a trick or two and was able to to make sure the guys don't get any goals. Yeah, I think that um, you know we've just been talking about that as well with the players is we're working on a lot of things, but um, they're not necessarily translating to to a Saturday. We've even had you know bounce games against other good teams and seen it and looked really really good. So we have to figure out how to get that from the the training into the game on a Saturday. And I think that um, you know a lot of that is if you don't get decent control of the ball, then you're not going to really create good chances or not going to create a lot of chances. And we've seen games where we have done that and we've seen games where we haven't. But we need to get to a consistent level of performance. We need to get um, you know everybody on the same page. I think the conditions were a factor today in the second half. It was you know, extremely windy uh, into our face, but at the same time, I would be expecting us to deliver more chances than that. Uh, I mean, what a guy who came on as well, obviously signing made sort of, uh, it's, it's lunchtime uh, today with yeah. uh, with the, with uh, Kieran Jacobs coming yeah. in from Livingston. Talk a bit yeah. about that. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a very good player. He's, you know, someone who I think can really help us. And um, he's, you know, Premier League player who's, who's kind of, joined us now for for between now and the end of the season and again you're in that position like do you just wait and wait and wait to put people in the team or do you actually start to go right let's let's be clear on what we've got we've got a good a handle on the players that we have let's see these others that we've got we know that we need to get ourselves into the playoffs and we know that we need to be in good form at the end of the season so right now we have to make sure we give everybody the, the chance to get to get the line to get you know show us what they can do and then we need to get the team set and we need to go from there Talking of, of signings, of course, the first, the last couple of days of the, the January transfer window, you talked with Lewis. Obviously, you've got you've got the, the month of February to, yeah. to to work with as well. Is is that the is that the door shut in terms of comings and goings? I think um, who knows. It's obviously things happen really quickly in, in this window, but um, it'd be more likely to be loan players in February, I would think. Um, but we have added quite a few players. The key now is so we need to we need to settle down and, and, and get everybody playing and get get on the same page. I don't think we need to just keep keep adding players. But we have added good players. Didn't necessarily see all of that today, but we did see good things. I thought you know Paul Watson. I thought you know really adds a lot to our team. And um, obviously as soon as Aaron Taylor Sinclair went out, we did miss him. I thought Keegan came in and did did well, especially in the first half, second half. You know as a team we didn't do too great so we saw what Jays did last week but now we need everybody um, playing at their best and keep continuing to be there for, for a good few months now. Talking of defence, uh, obviously uh, Aaron coming off with that injury, Got uh, yeah. any update on that? I think it was ju it's just a cut so you'll have to probably get some stitches in that and then we'll see how it goes from there. And well, it's been sort of three three games away from home now. Back at the Falkirk Stadium next week, taking on on Queens Park. I mean, the games come thick and fast. Three tricky games off the game today, and obviously you've got Queens Park and then Alloa. Yeah, well, I think you know the last. I think we've got five out of six games away from home, so it is quite a tough spell. But it's going to teach us a lot about you know what we've got and and what we need to do. Um, you know, we've uh, picked up the win there just last week with. Uh, 
you know, which was good. Um, but Airdrie away and Montrose away, we've, we've come up short. They are two of the better teams in the league, but it gives us a good idea of what the level is that we need to get to. And, you know, we're not too far off it, but we need to be above it and we need to get there soon. Martin, pleasure as always. Thanks for your time. All right, thank you. Cheers.